Quick bit of backstory, but I am not a pyromaniac. This video was suggested by a user of the official J Knight Discord server. He's the man behind the madness. Now, on to the video. Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Computer Torture. Today, featuring a very special guest, a propane torch. We're gonna be outside today for obvious reasons, like I don't want the house catching on fire, and we're gonna be burning up that graphics card while it's playing a video game. There's no real rhyme or reason for this, but I kinda just wanted to crank up the temperatures as much as possible to see what would happen. In this old HP ProBook, we have an i3-4130, 16 gigs of RAM, an SSD you can't see, a hard drive- wait, where's the hard drive? Oh my god, the hard drive is under the computer. I put it on the bucket upside down. It's fine, but the graphics card in question today that is not going to be fine by the end of it is an AMD HD 8490. I have like three of these when I bought a bunch of old graphics cards in bulk, but there's a different video on that. Point is, I don't need three of them, and they're not worth much, so I'm just going to torch it. So I'm not really sure if any other YouTubers or anyone with an IQ above room temperature has attempted this, but I'm just really curious to see what's going to happen to this poor graphics card. Time to get into my very legal copy of Windows 7. Also, this is the setup that we're working with right now. Two Home Depot buckets, two loose bricks I found in the yard, a metal dustpan, and the keyboard on the concrete. My game of choice today is BeamNG Drive. It's a kind of difficult game to run, but we will definitely be seeing 100% utilization of this poor graphics card. And any thermal throttling or any dip in performance should be noticeable. Okay, now that we're in game with just about the lowest settings, uh, we're pulling a very healthy 14, 15 FPS right now with 100% utilization of the GPU and 20% usage of the CPU. So I'm using this old PCIe 16x to 16x riser to try to get the graphics card as far away from the computer as possible so I don't, you know, toast the rest of the system. Currently we're sitting at a nice and comfortable 60 to 59 degrees Celsius and the graphics card is chugging along, you know, it's, it's trying its best here, it doesn't have much to offer, but we're gonna crank the temperatures up a little bit. Well, the fan started smoking almost immediately. It turns out that heat sink's plastic or something because it f melted already. We're already up to 69 degrees Celsius. Wow, that just shot up instantly. Ah, oh, it smells like burning plastic. Yeah, who would have thought, genius? So, with just a second of this propane torch, we caught the heat sink and fan on fire. We upped the temperatures by 10 degrees Celsius and performance has stayed the same. I'm gonna try toasting the heat sink again because I feel like if I go straight for the PCB, the card's gonna die a little too quickly. We're currently sitting at 61 degrees Celsius. I let the temperatures drop down a bit, and uh, here goes nothing. Well, it smells like burning plastic. I probably have cancer now. We're at 98 degrees Celsius, 99 degrees Celsius. The melted fan is slowly ramping back up. We're at 105 degrees Celsius. Oh, I'm sure that graphics card loved getting torched. Interestingly enough, it seems that the temperature is actually rising. We're at 107 to 106 degrees now. I feel like in this case, the heat sink worked in reverse, and because we heated up the heat sink so much, it heated up the core a lot. We're not even thermal throttling. We're still sitting at 13 FPS. Sounds like my truck trying to start up, man. All right, after playing scuffed Jenga with a brick and a burn graphics card, I finally got a position. So, I think it's about time we torch the backside of it now. My hypothesis is that this is just gonna straight kill the card, but it's been fairly resilient already, still running BeamNG at that. But without further ado, let's take this card out of its misery. And the screen went black. Okay, no more graphics card, everybody. I even toasted the PCI uh, extender a little bit there, but the card is still running. I mean, the fan's still spinning. Oh my god, you will never believe this. I think that the monitor might have turned off actually for some reason, because I restarted the computer, and uh, you see that? It's displaying something. We'll throw it back into some games and torch it a little more. I am surprised. I mean, I didn't really heat it up for that long, but it immediately shut down. All right, and we're back in the game playing some BeamNG Drive, this time on a less demanding map where we get a total of 28 FPS. I've noticed that the heat sink seems to be not working so good and uh, the fan isn't spinning anymore because you can't hear the engine-like sound that it once had, but we're up to 91 degrees Celsius after just like 10, 20, 30 seconds of gameplay, uh, which really does not bode well. I think it's just gonna thermal throttle and shut down again, but We'll see what happens. Oh yeah, that heat sink is, is it's doing nothing. It's it's jammed. It's it's pretty messed up. Oh my god, I went to pick the graphics card up again and the fan just started spinning at Mach 6 and it's 
it scared me, man. It really caught me by surprise. Well, we're currently sitting at 94 degrees Celsius with 28 FPS in BeamNG Drive. Let's just torch the graphics card. Is that the VRAM? That kind of looks like VRAM. And the game, oh wow, oh wow. <laughs> what happened? It looks like we got some uh, slight artifacting. The game froze. The graphics card sounds like a lawnmower. <laughs> and uh, it looks like the game crashed. So for you guys asking, what happens if you blowtorch your GPU? Well, your game starts artifacting, the entire thing crashes, Windows doesn't know what to do, and your graphics card sounds like a lawnmower. In terms of actual damage, I don't really see anything that stands out too much. A little bit of discoloration here and there, but I mean, you know, this card might still- Oh my god, it still works. What the heck? Well, now that we're back in BeamNG Drive, I decided to take a new approach to torching the graphics card and go back to the heatsink. Because it feels like when we torch the back side of it, the game just crashes, it gives up, thermal throttling, whatever. Something goes very wrong with it. But I want to finish off this heatsink, because it's still struggling for life, and I want to put it out of its misery. Oh my god! Well, you saw that. The fan stopped. It caught on fire. And the game's still running. How durable is this thing? Oh, it's ramping up to like never before seen heights. That fan might fly off. That thing looks kind of... I think I'm gonna need to get a face mask or something. But the game is still running, so um, back for round two. Well, we're down to six FPS, but the game is still running. We're at 112 degrees Celsius. I've inhaled half of this graphics card and I'm gonna... <laughs> How is this thing still working? We're at 112 degrees Celsius, between zero and 100% utilization, getting eight FPS down from the 25 we were getting, and the fan is still spinning. What is this nonsense? I wanna see Linus Tech Tips benchmark some graphics cards like this, cause this is just in a league of its own. This is straight durability right here. You want your card to be resilient to throw a blowtorch at it and see how long it holds up. Oh, and the screen went black but the fan's still spinning. What, I, you know what, just, just stop, just stop, just stop, just give up, stop it. Oh my God. <laughs> smells disgusting. Oh, the fan fell off, it looks like a little, uh, focus, there we go, yeah. But the real question, can you fix this by just turning your system off and back on again? Let's find out. And just like that, it's as if nothing ever happened, as we sit at 101 degrees Celsius, but still pulling 25 FPS on this poor, poor HD 8490. You can still drive around and play the game as much as you want. This card has really surprised me with how well it's been holding up. But I'm gonna go for a larger torching here and see if this card is gonna hold up afterwards. Without further ado, here we go. Okay, that's hot. Uh, the monitor turned off, the game crashed, and there's discoloration on the back of the card. And with that, I believe we finally killed this poor, poor graphics card. The computer's running, it's started up, so that's good, I didn't destroy that bit, but when you turn the monitor on, it keeps shutting itself off because it does not detect that it's getting a signal, I guess, because you know, the graphics card's dead, because I fried it. I don't think there should be anything too poisonous in here, right? It's just electronics i got a mask it it really smelled horrible all right this is getting kind of pointless now guys i think you know what a burnt graphics card looks like it looks like that it looks horrible. It doesn't work. If you torch your graphics card, you're f stupid. And with that, consider leaving a like, comment, or even subscribing because it genuinely helps me out in the YouTube algorithm and it makes me happy. So, hey, go do it. Regardless, thank you for watching and I hope you had a great day. Adios.